What's up folks, I'm BJ Griffin with IBSportsTV.com. A lot to talk about today, but first, let me get into it a little bit, a couple site updates, but the biggest one, you can now change your picks for the events you make predictions for. So if you go in, you make a pick, you hear about something, you wanna change your pick, you can go in and do it. a lot more freedom now. And it's it's been a, been a long time coming, a long time being a, a couple weeks since the website's been up. But let's get into it. Strike Force Heavyweight Grand Prix Barnett versus Karatanov. I'm gonna go through all the fights couple interesting fights let's get into it also let me mention that if you want to just skip straight to the main event prediction you can do that use the time cues now first fight Pat Healy versus Maximo Blanco now this is actually Maximo Blanco's strike force debut he had other fights in in other promotions and from what I've seen Maximo Blanco has a has a couple talents he has fantastic stand-up compared to his competition in the in the other promotions. And he has great wrestling, has legitimate wrestling. Maximo Blanco looks like he'd come in and be a strike force superstar, possibly. Pat Healy, uh, BJ Penn disciple, if you will, trains under BJ Penn. Uh, very experienced, has a lot of fights. And he is just, with, with Pat Healy, there's no skill that really just sticks out. I mean, he's he's legitimate in, in, in all aspects, but nothing that just sticks out. He is just a, a scrapper or a brawler and when I say that I don't mean that when he does stuff he has no technique I mean he just he goes in he fights and he fights hard you watch Pat Healy's fights and you like fights with with a lot of aggression blow for blow kind of stuff you want to see Pat Healy's fights but Maximo Blanco he just looks very talented very very good stand up I'm actually going to take him to win his UFC debut against the very experienced BJ Penn disciple Pat Healy Maximo Blanco first round KO Next fight, King Mo versus Roger Gracie. Now, Roger Gracie, I mean, this is just my opinion. He, he's got to have some of the best jiu-jitsu in, in mixed martial arts. Amazing jiu-jitsu, and that's really the center of his game plan in all his fights is to go in and use jiu-jitsu. I mean, he has, he has legitimate stand-up, you know, I'll give him that, but I mean, his jiu-jitsu, that's his game. King Mo, a little more, a little more well-rounded. Fantastic wrestling, good, legit stand-up. King Mo just lost his belt, but it's all good. He's looking to get it back. This fight, uh, Roger Gracie, he's a little, yeah, he has a little height over King Mo. He could, uh, with, with the stand-up, he could possibly go in and to get in some, some tie clinch action and get those knees up there towards King Mo and kind of try and tap that chin like his last fight and get, get a little t uh, TKO victory. But really, if Roger Gracie's gonna, gonna win the fight, it's gonna be with a submission. Don't see it happening. I'm actually gonna take King Mo to win this fight via second round KO. Next rate, Jacare Souza versus Luke Rockhold. Luke Rockhold, his last win, his, his stand-up is improving. He's kind of a rising star in strike force, but his his the biggest facet of his game is his jiu-jitsu. While Luke Rockhold's last win over uh who who did he fight? Who did he fight? I wanna say, I wanna say um Paul Bradley. After he TKO brought Paul Bradley, his his fights before that were actually all rear naked choke wins. Four rear naked choke wins in a row. I mean, I guess he, he loves to do that particular technique. And Jock Ray Saza also with great, great Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And he has a legit stand-up also. He went in and he beat Robbie Lawler, who had questionable uh, jiu-jitsu. He kind of full guard a couple times and he, he got the victory over Robbie Lawler. So I'm actually gonna take Jock Ray Salva to win this fight via unanimous decision. I don't know, I don't see either guy submitting each other. Luke Rockhold can go in, press Ronald Salva against the cage, kind of get in some dirty boxing and kind of try and rough him up a little bit because Luke Rockhold is looking like he has a bit of a size advantage and I would assume that he could have the strength advantage but you never really know until these guys get their hands on each other. I'm gonna take Jock Ray Salva to win via unanimous decision. I was getting into some of the fights for the heavyweight Grand Prix. Antonio Bigfoot Silva versus Daniel Cormier now. Daniel Cormier. Daniel Cormier now, he, he has great wrestling. He, he's, he's a world-class wrestler and his stand-up is improving, but Antonio Bigfoot Silva, he is just humongous. I don't know how he's gonna get in and throw these punches at the, at the big chain of Antonio Bigfoot Silva. I mean, he's really gotta get in there and get to work. And I don't see how he can go in and kinda, uh, I mean, he could take him down, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be a tough task. And Bigfoot Silva, he is a, he has outstanding jiu-jitsu, Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. 
And he, he exercised a lot of that against Fedor. He can, he can get in there, get you on the ground, kind of advance positions a little bit, get you in a, bu in a bunch of different things. And he'll, I mean, he tries for a lot of different, a lot of different submissions when he gets you on the ground. So I really, I, I see, I see Bigfoot Silva winning this fight, possibly by getting his hands on Daniel Cormier's face. And I'm actually gonna take Bigfoot Silva to win this fight via second round KO. Let's get into the main event. Josh Barnett versus Sergey Karatanov. Now, I actually, at, for, for a second, for a little bit, when I initially looked at this fight, I was like, you know what? This is, this is kind of tough for me to pick a little bit, but anytime, <laughs> anytime you have two guys that are on the, the same, the same kind of level, same kind of scale, and you have one guy who's more of a striker, and then you have another guy who is more of a wrestler, who are you gonna pick based on how the how the rule set goes, how the scoring goes, and just how, how how much control one fighter would have over another? You're gonna pick the wrestler, and that's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. Josh Barnett to come in and lay and pray this guy for all five rounds. I'm going to take Josh Barnett to win this fight via unanimous decision. And if you saw the fight against Brett Rogers, it was really just Josh Barnett on top of Brett, Brett Rogers. A lot of a lot of hump action going on, so that, I see that happening with this fight. Sergi, we get Sergey Karatona. That's it for the Strike Force Heavyweight Grand Prix semi semifinal predictions. Make sure to make your picks on IBSportsTV.com. Make the picks if you want to. After you make the picks, you can go in and change the picks. I'm gonna do that. I, I changed my picks a couple times already. IBSportsTV.com. I'm BJ Griffin. Follow us on Twitter. All that stuff. Signing off.